वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन ए सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिकल इनक्लोजर और इलेक्ट्रिकल बॉक्स इन सॉलिड बॉक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ शीट मेटल कमांड हियर वी विल डिज़ाइन बोथ दी पार्ट सेपरेटली इलेक्ट्रिकल इनक्लोजर और बॉडी एंड डो सेपरेटली एंड वी विल असेंबल बट वी विल यूज हियर शीट मेटल टूल स्पेशली एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज दिस शीट मेटल टूल एंड वी विल क्रिएट दिस सिंपल बॉक्स एंड हियर वी विल यूज डिज़ाइन लाइब्रेरी टू क्रिएट दिस एम्बॉसिंग होल्स दैन lovers and we will use here venturi command to create this one i hope you like it so let's see how to do this in solid works now here let's start the first part of electrical enclosure body so let's start choose here front plane sketch and uh, select here center rectangle let's draw a rectangle a smart dimension 185 mm and keep the height 192 mm select go to sheet metal or even if if you don't have just right click on command manager and here select sheet metal okay select base flange now see make reverse this direction k factor keep 0.5 it is a bending allowance by default 0.5 is sufficient for us select here okay now let's choose here edge flange select this outer edge it will drag up to somewhere see it's you can drag by manually it's up to you now select the second edge the same way select this third edge the last one now here you can see we selected radius by default they selected and here the gap once you selected two pieces you will see the gap 0.2 we keep 0.2 if you will keep 1 mm let's see see the gap become more so i'll try to keep small 0.2 mm is sufficient for welding 90 degree and we need to select the bending length 80 mm i'll prefer to choose 80 mm and uh, outer virtual sharpness and material inside select here okay now see now again choose select bottom line drag down now select this side one okay and the last one now you can see it automatically it took the wedge shape or you can say tapered shape it will not overlap this is the a good function in sheet metal now see we will keep the gap see let's check the gap between see the gap between these two two pieces point to it's up to you whatever you want to like do it 20 mm i'll choose the blind length select here okay now see it's very small gap this is sufficient for welding now we need to make one more edge flange select this outer edge and keep outside select this edge this edge this edge point to 8 mm and here you can see the gap okay now see there is a small gap so edit goes down 
and you will see custom relief type select here rectangle now this is rectangle relief tier tier means it will disappear okay now see it's the gap is disappeared so this is the simple body of enclosure now we will make some uh, lures here so just go to your design library and uh, drop down this design library and here you will find forming tools once you go to forming tools just choose here lures uh, here only one by default lure so just select this face and drag to this face now see it comes inside so we want to uh, make it from outside so first do one thing in your left hand side you will find here flip tool select flip tool now see it comes out outward direction now we need we need to change the angle angle position so let's try this one i already tried so it's 270 degree that's it because it should be downward direction let's take the normal look go to position and here now we, we will define the position from outer edge 40 millimeter and from this out 40 millimeter that's fine select ok now let's click ok now see we created a simple lure lure always created for ventilation now let's make multiple number of lures with the help of linear pattern command if you'll go to feature choose here linear pattern first select the way direction then choose this lure now here we, we need to keep, uh, keep the distance keep 10 millimeter 5 or 6 numbers that's it select here ok now see we created 6 number of lures let's mirror this one so choose here right plane that's the center plane mirror drop down this menu and choose here first lure 1 and pat linear pattern you can see the preview ok that's it now here also we will create some small circular ventilation holes with the help of venturi command you can see in sheet metal vent so let's select this face a sketch normal let's choose a circle create three or four circles let's define this 45 35 25 and the last inner one 15 now choose here line 1 now let's try to revolve this line circular pattern select the center point choose this line and here's delete and select this point as a center six number one two three six number is better for us actually four eight number actually we need so that's fine the eight numbers 360 degree equal spacing now to go to sheet metal and choose here venturi once you select the vendor first select the 2d boundary so this is the our boundary now face also selected this 
radius no need to define radius of the fillet uh, first select ribs here how many ribs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and we will define the thickness keep 2 mm see here now spares we will select the circles here 1 2 and 3 that's it that's enough no need other okay see just hide this uh, now see this is the ventilation holes we created for electrical enclosure now just go back take the normal position now here we will make the mounting holes or mounting just go to design library forming tools and here you will find some click forming tools and uh, in embossing select counter sec uh, okay this one uh, counter sink emboss just drag it push here okay this is, this should be from in inside take here position dimension twenty five millimeter twenty five millimeter okay now again choose the star point and put num more number of holes. One, two, three. Okay. Now select collinear, uh, vertical. This two points, vertical relation. Now select these two points, horizontal relation. Now define the last one, so other will automatically. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Now see automatically where other all took the position. Select OK. Ah, uh, see, this is the embossing holes. This is for fixing or lifting. Ah, uh, not lifting. It is actually for fixing. Now that's the simple commands what we did. if you you can choose here flatten option just select flatten and it will be flatten see this is your flatten sheet it is ready for the sh sheet metal work you can just simply uh, make the cnc commands and put in cnc turret machine and it will cut it it is very easily see uh, i use uh, i already use the cnc amada turret punch in my company and uh, we are doing especially sheet metal works sheet metal jobs unflatten see now here actually we i want to fix some hinge actually hinge should be fixed separately but uh, i want to save some time that's why i'm going to fix it here so select this face a sketch normal choose corner rectangle Six millimeter. Ten millimeter. Now let's define the distance from here to outer edge. Ten millimeter. That's it. And for upper edge to outer edge, 
60 millimeter. Select extrude and extrude up to 8 millimeter. Eight millimeter, okay. Now here choose fillet and choose here full round fillet and select one by one all the faces. So the third one, okay. Now you will get the full round face. That's it. Now select this face a sketch. select the center point and draw here a circle let's keep the diameter 3 millimeter go to feature and extrude up to 2 millimeter only ok now choose your linear pattern select any vertical length and uh, keep number of patterns i want we want two only and here select first extrude body then this fillet then this extrude three parts we need to select distance 65 millimeter i already calculated that's why i know okay now let's define some color so or even some metal also you can apply see ok now look at here this is the simple sheet metal box we use simple commands of sheet metal now it is ready for production but here we will give some color so it will be very helpful and easily identified by people let's try steel color okay. why we let's save this part go to desktop create a folder electrical electrical enclosure this is the part one body now let's create a door and we will assemble it Now here let's make the second part enclosure door or electrical enclosure door. So let's choose the same front plane a sketch center rectangle and draw a rectangle from origin point. Let's define choose a smart dimension 157 millimeter and keep the length 155 millimeter. Select here go to sheet metal. okay it's going beyond one millimeter age flange select all the ages because once you choose the age it will gives you two direction left right so wherever you want to ex ex extend it you can just choose it once you choose then every edges will be th the same in the same direction now see now you can see the gap here we choose the gap 0.2 millimeter if 1 millimeter see it's so big gap it's difficult for welding so I'll choose 0.2 millimeter 90 degree and length uh, let's say 10 millimeter okay now 
now select this face this sketch normal select here corner rectangle draw a rectangle 6 mm 10 mm and uh, let's keep the distance from top 20 32.5 mm that's fine select extruded boss extrude up to 8 mm okay now choose here fillet and select here the last option full round fillet select all three faces phase 2 and the third one phase 3 it will automatically tape take the shape now here in bottom we want to create a hole select a sketch circle and once you find the circle center just draw a circle keep the diameter 3.05 mm because the hole, that hole is 3 mm 0.5 its tolerance and extruded cut keep depth 2 mm okay that's it now choose your linear pattern select one edge keep the gap 65 mm we need two numbers first select this body then this fillet then this cut out hole now you can see the preview here choose here okay select this face this sketch now here we want to create some hole so door lock hole we want to create select here center point straight slot Ten millimeter, four millimeter. Sixty-five millimeter. This looks sufficient. Select here. Go to sheet metal and select extruded cut. We want to cut only up to thickness, so you can just select link to thickness or even. If you will not choose, you just select the dimension. But I'll prefer to choose link to thickness. That means it will cut your thickness only. Now select flatten pattern. Now see, this is your sheet metal part is ready. These two hinges supposed to be we need to add separately. It will not comes under sheet metal. But uh, I just added because I just want to save the time. Okay. now for this uh, i'll apply first metal steel brushed steel then i'll choose appearance and yellow color okay let's save this part number 2 door now let's start the assembly now here let's start the assembly of electrical enclosure open select here both the same thing advanced option it looks like this here you can add your uh, options i'll i'll tell you some in some days advanced assembly okay now this is the assembly window it will ask you to browse your first part so i'll choose here browse door open now first part always by default it will be fixed 
it will not move see i am trying to move but it will not move of course by default it's fixed choose insert open this is the door let's rotate our door move component okay uh, let me change the theme plain white now i'll choose here mat first select this male female holes pin holes okay select this face and this face select here okay now see the door is already fixed just take it up okay see simply this is your electrical enclosure i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comment just write down below i'll try to answer each and every question and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks i hope you like it thanks for watching